We anybody, might... anybody watch the Robin Williams documentary last night? Yes, I did. No, is it on Netflix or what is it on, it's on HBO. HBO? Oh, yeah. I don't got HBO. Come inside my mind is what it's called. Oh. <laughs> what? Someone put the quarter in Falcon. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna put that microphone back down again. <laughs> See how that's he's like, my microphone's off. What was that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I'm glad he said my mind. Yes, come inside my mind is yeah, the name of the, the name documentary. Of the documentary. Yeah, it's not like yes. he paused. Right. Okay. Billy Crystal on the last time he saw Robin Williams. It was, it was very it was movie. Sad documentary. Yeah. Yeah. But it was also great, like I, I tweet this out about how I really liked the documentary, but they had scenes of him just kind of going off book when they were shooting Mork and Mindy and he's being like dirty and raunchy and just really funny and they should release all those like cut the show up the on scene tapes and, yeah and like put those in there somehow or just put all the outtakes out somewhere his estate probably doesn't want him to listen Robin Williams was obviously a very very talented guy a little of him went a long way with me no, I, like, I couldn't get enough of him. A little went a long way if you'd see like his live shows like I Robin Williams I can see why Met. people say that about Jim Carrey Robin Williams, to me, I, I could not get enough to of To me, it's kind of the, along the same lines. I like them both. Anyway, Billy, I like them both Billy Crystal talking about the last time that he saw Robin Williams. We met at a movie theater. I was a little concerned because I felt he was very quiet. When we left each other, he started to cry. And I said, what's the matter? He goes, well, I'm just so happy seeing you. And then he told me that he had been diagnosed with Parkinson's. And when he told me, I never, heard, I never heard Robin be afraid, except for that moment. A couple of months later, um, we were going on vacation, Janice and I, to Europe. I called him to say I was going to be away, but I'm reachable. My, I said, my phone, I have my computer, so whatever. And he says, OK, you know I love you. And I said, I love you too, pal. And um, that was the last time I spoke to him. Pam Dauber, who was on Mork and Mindy with him, was in it too, and she said that they didn't even audition with each other, and they didn't shoot a pilot, that the network liked him so much and liked her so much that they just cut together clips of them from other shows, and the network greenlit it. That's crazy. And that Mork and Mindy mm -hmm. was kind of kismet. They'd say, okay, we have this character, Mork, which tested very well, and they had Pam, who had done a series where she played a nun. Called Sister Terry. And it was terrible. My dad took footage of Pam Dauber from the pilot in the nun outfit, cut it together with Robin on Happy Days, just literally spliced it together, and that was the pilot. It was a $63 pilot. And then they went, fine, whatever, just throw it on the air. They didn't think it would have a fighting chance of ever living. They are announcing the fall lineup, and it says ABC announces Mork and Mindy starring Robin Williams and Pam Dauber. Spaceman lives with girlfriend in apartment, and they went, "Oh my God, this sounds terrible. Who is this Robin Williams anyway?" Can you imagine that if you found out your show got picked up by watching the network announcement. It's crazy, you know. She talked about telling Robin Williams about John Belushi ODing and dying, because obviously she saw some parallels between mm -hmm. the two. Belushi died in a bungalow at the Chateau Marmont Hotel in Hollywood. Later, Los Angeles police said... I said, I something really, really terrible died. to tell you. He said, what? And I said, John Belushi's dead. He died. He OD'd. He went, oh, I was with him last night. And I said, I, I know. We just walked together towards our trailers. And just before he went into his trailer, and, and I said, I'm going to make me cry. I said, if that ever happens to you, I will find you and kill you first. And he said, Dobbs, that's never going to happen to me. And that's when Robin stopped. Boy, Pam, I had a huge crush on Pam Dauber. Oh, I yeah. mean, her and Joyce DeWitt from Three's Company when I was a kid, yeah. those were like the first two girls I was like, oh, my God, so cute. Pam Dauber's been married to Mark Harmon for like 40 years. Oh, too. really? Oh, yeah. They've been married forever. But she, I don't know. She did work in Mindy, and she did that. You ever see those Stay Tuned movies? There was a couple of them. It was her and John Ritter. Yeah. Where they get sucked into the television. Yeah. It Another sounds guy stupid. Another died before he yeah. died too young. Robin Williams' first wife, I thought this was kind of... Uh, she goes, well, he didn't exactly run off with the nanny, even though that's what I told but, everybody. His second wife was the nanny. Well, pretty close, yeah. Yeah, but, yeah. Contrary to what the national papers said, Robin and I had ended our marriage, and then Robin and Marsha started up a relationship. That story of him running off with the nanny, everybody got carried away with it. 
And because I didn't counter that, because I don't talk to the press, they got skewered, and I was sorry for that. And I'm sorry for Marsha that she had to start her adventure with Robin in such an unpleasant way. I don't talk to the press. Wouldn't you leave them a comment? That's not what happened, guys. Thank you. Yeah, Good night. Mm-hmm. Not what happened. That's it. You know, I felt so bad that the media said that they... <laughs> But Marsha Garces and him were married for a long time. But that was the story back in the day, is that he dumped his wife for the nanny. Yeah, I remember that. And then I think he got he got married after that, again. When he died, he had a different wife. Hmm. Anyway, that Robin Williams documentary is on HBO. I'll have and to find that somehow. It's solid, yeah. Hey. Hey. We gotta do a new uh, YouTube thing. No. No. Yeah, no, no, no. just do it. No. Just do it. No. Just say subscribe and share.